So DAX Foundation has been initiated by DAX and DAX had a 30 years history of working for artists and with artists. This allows us, this new organisation, to take forward that brilliant legacy and also bring in new partners. An organisation like DAX Foundation helps you know, protect us you know, and ensure you know, that um, our culture can be the best that it can be. When I became more um, aware of it and knew what they did, uh, I, I felt that I hadn't really heard of anything like this for decades, you know, that was so artist-centred. So our sense is that this living archive is really important to reactivate an affinity between artists and audiences. We believe that the artist has a real capacity to tell the story of their own work, so it's a living archive which is important, not a dead one. I think the question of the archive is really, really important. I mean, one could sort of extend it out from art and say that actually all things that are made, practical, functional things, also are part of our material history. It seems to us that there's not that much opportunity for artists to make um, small projects with limited resources, so we thought that was really important to try and support, and we're working in collaboration with the Artist Fund on that. But significantly also through the project Art360, we thought it was really key to address the potential crisis in soft cultural heritage, as we're calling it. So I, I really wanted to support this, and I must admit there was a very nice letter that came from Susan Hiller that invited one to participate in the auction, and I thought, well, that's a good thing as well, you know, a, a, an artist who in, asked you to be involved. I've donated a um, painting of a, a single stem tulip on the Financial Times stock listings, and uh, the original image is from the watercolours that speculators used 370 years ago in Holland during the tulip mania. The bids are open from the 10th through to the 24th. There's a special event in London, at London Newcastle, um, where you can come and bid live and use the uh, facilities of Paddle 8 in a live environment. So if you're in London, come along to that and tell people you know who you think might be interested in art to have a look at the works for, for sale on the site. And if you're coming to London on the 23rd and you'd like to attend the auction at Christie's, come there. So what we'd say is to anyone out there with a passion for art, for a passion for collecting art, but also for a passion for sustaining art into the future, please, please, please get involved, come along and buy and let's make this a great success.